Today, uh, we're going behind the scenes Ufa. of some of your favorite TV shows, exploring the surprising truths that might just change how you watch television forever. And uh, it's packed with TV conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. It's amazing how TV can create these illusions of reality, but once you start peeling back those layers, you discover a whole world of manipulation and control that most viewers never see. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Lift the curtain and expose those secrets. Starting with the world of game shows. Mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't love a good game show, right? The tension, the competition, the thrill of victory. But what if I told you that some of those iconic moments weren't as genuine as they appeared? Well, it turns out that many game shows have a history of, shall we say, creative editing and uh, behind the scenes maneuvering to ensure maximum entertainment value. Okay, you've got my attention. Let's dive right in. Let's start with Legends of the Hidden Temple, a show that had us all glued to the screen as kids, cheering on those adventurers as they navigated the temple and faced those formidable temple guards. Oh, absolutely. It was a classic. And the temple run was always the highlight. But what many people don't know is that the producers actually admitted to limiting wins uh, due to budget constraints. Hold on, are you saying that some of those kids who trained and dreamed of winning might have been denied a fair shot at the grand prize? It's certainly a possibility, and it raises some interesting questions about the fairness of these competitions. It challenges our assumptions about these shows being solely based on skill and strategy. That's a bit disheartening, to be honest. I mean, imagine being a kid and believing you lost fair and square when in reality the odds might have been stacked against you from the start. It's a reminder that even seemingly innocent game shows are ultimately businesses. And those businesses are driven by a need to manage costs and ensure consistent entertainment value. It's a good point. Sometimes those behind the scenes realities can really impact the integrity of the competition. And speaking of high stakes competitions, how can we forget the infamous who wants to be a millionaire? coughing scandal ah yes the tale of charles ingram who managed to cheat his way to the million dollar prize with the help of some strategically timed cough that signaled the correct answers it was a scandal that captivated the nation it's fascinating how a seemingly simple game show could become the center of such intrigue and deception it really highlights the human element behind these shows the desire to win the pressure of the spotlight, the length some will go to achieve their goals, even if it means bending the rules. It's a reminder that behind the glitz and glamour of those shiny sets and big prizes, there's a whole world of human drama and ambition playing out. Exactly. And that drama doesn't just unfold in front of the cameras. It often spills over into the behind-the-scenes world of production, shaping the narratives we see on screen. Okay, so we've established that even game shows aren't always what they seem. But surely reality TV lives up to its name right. I mean, the shows are all about capturing real people, real emotions, real life situations. Well, you might be surprised to learn that the concept of reality in reality TV is often carefully constructed and manipulated to create a more compelling narrative. Oh, come on. You're telling me those traumatic moments of conflict, those heartwarming stories of personal growth, those intense competitions. It's not all as spontaneous as it seems. Let's just say that producers have a lot of tricks up their sleeves to ensure that viewers stay engaged even if it means blurring the lines between reality and fabrication. All right, I'm all ears. Give me an example. Let's talk about Survivor. I mean, that show is built on the idea of contestants being stranded in the wilderness, forced to rely on their wits and survival skills to outlast their competitors. Right, and it's a formula that has captivated audiences for years. But according to our sources, there's more to those challenges than meets the eye. It turns out that producers often walk contestants through those challenges beforehand. Wait a minute. Are you telling me those nail-biting moments where they're struggling to build a fire or strategizing to win immunity? It's all pre-planned. To a certain extent, yes. It's about ensuring the challenges are achievable, that the competition remains balanced, and of course that there's enough drama to keep viewers hooked. So while those survival skills are undoubtedly important, it's not quite the raw, unfiltered experience we might believe it to be. Exactly. And it raises a fascinating question if those challenges aren't entirely organic. How much of what we see on Survivor is truly authentic? Okay, mind blown. So what about Pawn Stars? I mean, those guys seem like the real deal with their quick wit, their expert appraisals, and those spontaneous transactions. Well, you might be surprised to learn that even Pawn Stars isn't immune to a bit of staging and pre-planning. Sources have revealed that guests are often pre-screened. Items are carefully vetted. 
And producers have even encouraged the cast to purchase items for entertainment value, even if they weren't personally interested. So those intense negotiations and those seemingly unexpected discoveries might be more for the cameras than genuine reactions. It seems that way. And speaking of stage scenarios, let's talk about House Hunters. Oh, House Hunters. Oh. Who doesn't love a good house hunting adventure? The anticipation, the debates, the thrill of finding the perfect home. But here's the catch. Most of the time, the participants have already bought their house before filming even begins. Wait, what? They're pretending to search for a home when they already know where they're going to live? It's all about creating a more compelling narrative, building suspense, and generating those emotional highs and lows that keep viewers glued to the screen. So those agonizing decisions, those intense debates over countertops and closet space, it's all just an act. Well, let's just say it's a highly curated version of reality. Wow. After hearing all of this, I don't even know what to believe anymore. It yeah. seems like the lines between reality and fiction are constantly being blurred. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even delved into the world of scripted television, where behind-the-scenes drama can have a profound impact on the stories we see unfold on screen. Okay, now I'm really intrigued. Let's move on to those scripted shows and see what secrets they hold. Let's uh, shift gears a bit and talk about scripted shows. We often get so invested in the characters and storylines, but uh, it's important to remember that behind those fictional worlds, there are real people with real lives and real dynamics that can shape what we see on screen. I'm all about those behind the scenes stories. Give me the juicy details. Let's talk about Seinfeld, for example. Remember the sudden and somewhat bizarre death of George's fiance, Susan? Ah, yes. The episode where she succumbs to licking those toxic envelopes. It was quite a shocking turn of events. It really was. And you're telling me there's a behind the scenes story there. As it turns out, actor Jason Alexander later revealed that the decision to kill off Susan Stem from difficulties working with the actress who played her, Heidi Swedberg. Wow, so creative decisions were influenced by interpersonal dynamics behind the scenes. I guess even in the world of make-believe, real-life relationships can impact a narrative. Absolutely. And it's not just about personality clashes. Sometimes these behind-the-scenes events can involve deeper conflicts over a show's direction and message. Do you have an example of that? Let's look at good times. Remember when James Evans, played by John Amos, was abruptly killed off in a car crash? That was a heartbreaking episode. I remember feeling so shocked and saddened when it happened. It felt so sudden and unexpected. Well, the reason behind John Amos's departure from the show was actually quite controversial. He was fired due to clashes with producers over the show's comedic direction. Amos felt that the humor was undermining the show's realism and its portrayal of important social issues. So his character's fate was a direct result of those behind-the-scenes disagreements about the show's overall tone and message. It's amazing how those conflicts can play out on screen in such dramatic ways. It's a reminder that even in fictional worlds, the line between art and reality can become quite blurred. And speaking of blurred lines... We can't forget about the drama surrounding some of those big-name actors and their departures from popular shows, like McDreamy's exit from Grey's Anatomy. Patrick Dempsey's departure was a shock for many fans. It certainly was. Initially, scheduling conflicts were cited as the reason, but a book later revealed allegations about Dempsey's behavior on set, painting a less-than-flattering picture of the beloved actor. That's disappointing to hear. It seems that sometimes those charismatic characters we see on screen don't always reflect the reality of the actors who portray them. And what about when Katherine Heigl, who played Izzy Stevens, was labeled difficult? Her character was suddenly diagnosed with a brain tumor. It does make you wonder if this medical storyline was purely coincidental or a creative way to manage a challenging actor. It certainly adds a whole other layer of intrigue to those behind-the-scenes dynamics. Absolutely. It makes you wonder how often creative decisions are influenced by factors that have nothing to do with the story itself. It's a fascinating aspect of television production. And it's not just limited to scripted dramas. Those behind-the-scenes machinations are perhaps even more prevalent in the world of reality TV, where producers have a much greater degree of control over the narrative. Okay, let's go back to reality TV for a minute. I'm thinking of shows like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, where the whole premise is built around finding true love. Yeah. But how much of that is genuine and how much is orchestrated by producers? That's a question that's been debated for years. From planning elaborate dates to encouraging certain interactions, producers definitely play a significant role in shaping the course of events. So those romantic moments, those dramatic confrontations, those tearful goodbyes, are they truly spontaneous expressions of emotion? 
or are they carefully crafted scenes designed to keep viewers entertained? The answer likely lies somewhere in between. While the contestants are real people with real feelings, the environment they're in is highly controlled. Producers can influence everything from who goes on dates to what kind of conversations they have. It's almost like a social experiment. Seeing how these individuals behave under such unique and orchestrated circumstances. Precisely. And let's not forget the role of editing in shaping those narratives. Producers have the power to select which moments are shown, which conversations are emphasized, and ultimately how the story unfolds. It's like they're weaving a tapestry of romance and drama, using real lives and real emotions as their threads. And the audience is often captivated by the resulting masterpiece, even if they know it's not entirely genuine. It's the suspension of disbelief, right? Yeah. We want to believe in the fairy tale, even if we suspect what? there's some clever puppetry going on behind the scenes. Exactly. And speaking of puppetry, let's talk about another reality TV staple, the talent show. Think about American Idol and all those cringeworthy auditions where terrible singers somehow made it to the televised rounds. Oh, I remember those. It was painful to watch. But you couldn't help but be drawn in by the sheer awkwardness of it all. Well, as it turns out, those awful auditions were often intentional. Producers deliberately included them for comedic effect and to boost ratings. Seriously, they were intentionally exploiting these aspiring singers for entertainment value. That seems a bit ethically questionable. It certainly raises some concerns about the balance of power in these shows. Producers have a significant amount of control over how contestants are portrayed, and those portrayals can have a lasting impact on their lives. It's a reminder that while reality TV can provide a platform for aspiring artists, it's ultimately a business driven by ratings and profits. And sometimes those priorities can overshadow ethical considerations. It's a delicate balance, and one that has been debated throughout the history of television. Speaking of history, didn't this video we're discussing mention one of the biggest scandals in television history, the 1950s quiz show scandal? Ah, yes. The scandal that rocked the nation and nearly destroyed the entire quiz show genre. It's a fascinating case study in how deception and manipulation can erode public trust and have far-reaching consequences. Can you give us a quick recap of what happened? In the 1950s, quiz shows were incredibly popular. One of the biggest hits was a show called 21. I've heard of that. Wasn't it all about these two super smart guys battling it out for the grand prize? Exactly. Charles Van Doren and Herbert Stemple became household names because of their intense rivalry on the show. But after losing, Herbert Stemple made a shocking claim. He alleged that the show was rigged. He said contestants were given answers in advance and that the producers coached them on how to act to make the competition seem more dramatic. Oh, so they were basically acting. And the whole country was glued to their screens, believing it was a genuine battle of intellect. That's right. And it wasn't just 21. Congressional investigations revealed that many other quiz shows were also rigged. It was a massive betrayal of public trust. Wow. I can only imagine the outrage when the truth came out. It was a huge scandal. The quiz show genre practically died overnight. It took years for people to regain trust in these types of programs. So how did the industry recover from such a blow? The scandal led to major reforms and stricter regulations to ensure fairness and transparency. Shows like Jeopardy! emerged with strong emphasis on integrity and preventing cheating. It's fascinating how a single scandal can have such a profound and lasting impact shaping an entire industry. It highlights the importance of trust in television. When that trust is broken, the consequences can be significant. And it's a reminder that as viewers, we need to be aware of the potential for manipulation, even in the seemingly innocent world of entertainment. It's like we need to develop a whole new set of viewing skills for the 21st century, right? We can't just passively consume what's being fed to us. We need to engage with television more critically and thoughtfully. I couldn't agree more. In a world where the lines between reality and fabrication are increasingly blurred, it's more important than ever to be a discerning viewer. So where do we go from here? We've uncovered these secrets and learned about how television can be manipulated. Does that mean we should be suspicious of everything we watch? Not necessarily. It's not about becoming cynical or dismissing the entertainment value of television altogether. It's about uh, developing a more critical lens. I like the critical lens. It's like putting on a special pair of glasses that allow us to see beyond the surface, to understand the motivations and the decisions that shape the content we consume. Exactly. And sometimes that deeper understanding can actually enhance our enjoyment of those shows. When we understand the challenges faced by actors and producers, the creative choices they make, and the behind-the-scenes realities of production, we can appreciate the complexity of the process. It's like getting a glimpse into the magician's workshop, right? 
Yeah. Seeing how the illusions are created doesn't necessarily ruin the magic of the show. It can actually make it even more fascinating. Precisely. We can still be amazed by the final product, but we also gain a newfound respect for the artistry and the effort that went into making it. It's like adding another dimension to the viewing experience. Instead of just passively watching, we're actively engaging with the content, analyzing the choices that were made, and appreciating the craft behind those carefully constructed narratives. And that deeper engagement can lead to more meaningful conversations about the impact of television on our culture and society. We can discuss the messages being conveyed, the ethical considerations, and the ways in which these shows reflect and shape our values. So after this deep dives into the world of television and its behind the scenes workings, I'm curious, do you think these revelations make you more or less interested in the shows you enjoy? For me, it's actually made me more interested. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, revealing the complexity beneath the surface. I'm more aware of the artifice, but I also appreciate the artistry and the effort that goes into creating these captivating experiences. That's a great point. It's about finding that balance, acknowledging the manipulations, yeah. while still appreciating the entertainment value and the storytelling prowess. And it's about recognizing that television, like any form of art, can be a powerful tool for reflection, for escapism, for social commentary, and even for education. Well said. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of television, I want to leave our listeners with this thought. Now that you know some of these secrets, would you watch TV the same way again? Well, you look for those subtle clues, question the motives behind certain creative choices, and perhaps even have a deeper appreciation for the complex interplay of art, commerce, and human dynamics that shapes the shows we love. Those are great questions to ponder. And remember, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep.